I've been on the board for about 10 years, but I've been associated with Wine Guard for 15 years. Started out as a volunteer. When I think of the Wine Guard Center, I think of transforming lives. What really touched me was the Wine Guard Center had a program. It wasn't just coming in for a night, sleeping on a cot, and then you have to go the next morning. This was an actual program to help transform their lives, to break their cycle of homelessness. I came from the banking industry. I was in banking for about 35 years, and my philosophy is my job pays my bills, but my volunteer work and my board work feeds my soul. My role with the board is to be an advocate outside of that room for homelessness, for getting funding from the private sector. My role with the board is to understand the finances, the management of the organization, to ensure that we never lose sight of the mission, of what the needs of the participants are. You can never lose sight of that. And I've watched this organization through some of its ups and downs, and our trajectory now, straight up, because of the management team we have and the active board members. I've watched them develop strategic plans and execute those strategic plans. I've watched how the public-private sector partnerships have been developed. The board members for Weingart, they are truly active participants. It's a situation that I'm seeing more and more of is a lot of gentrification going on in neighborhoods where people can no longer afford the rents and they may have had help with rent, but a lot of buildings are saying, we no longer want to do Section 8. Why should I do Section 8 when I can get market value for this unit? So they're terminating Section 8 and that's creating a homeless situation. Seniors that have been laid off from work are retired thinking that they have enough to sustain them, and they don't. A lot of folks too, millennials, are living from paycheck to paycheck, one paycheck away from being homeless. I feel that some of the solutions that we could do as human beings is be more accepting of this homeless population. Be more accepting of putting shelters up in your neighborhood, of putting affordable, supportive housing up in your neighborhood. It's not a us or them problem. It's a human problem. It's all of our problem. I think the Garden Library is a perfect example of the partnerships that can be established with the city, with the county. A good example of public and private and the city working together to find solutions. So you got 30 beds for 30 women and the decor is so inviting and so pleasing. The Gardner Project included a neighborhood that typically don't have shelters, but that neighborhood pulled together, again, both public and private, and made this happen by working together. I just think that's just fabulous. Good news is we're building two towers of affordable, supportive housing. You know why it's important? Because once you finish the program, you have your job, now you gotta deal with the day-to-day -day pressures of life. And when you have affordable, supportive housing, you can deal with that because all your support is right there to be successful, and that's important. My call to action is for each and every one of you to get involved in a meaningful way. Donate on a regular basis, volunteer on a regular basis, bring your friends and your family, make them aware of what's going on down in this district help. Help with money and help with time. Go down to the Wine Guard Center, take a tour, and see where your potential dollars are going and what those dollars are going to be used for. Get involved and feed your soul with that.